practice at all times. Understood? Touch them up. Best of luck to both of you. And the setup's fast. His last two fights have gone a total of 100 per round. It's a pretty useful weapon for him in most of his fights. The jab is the key for Campbell. I love, I love what I'm seeing. I love this start by, by the young Ryan Garcia. Speak. Campbell with the left of the body. Is, is looking to tie that sharp. Oh, straight right hand. But right now, that was a little trip up with the feet, and you're going to see a lot more of that. I think there's more ways to knock them up. Because he has the two best weapons. It's instinctive. That punches it. To get over eager. Because Campbell, who never makes. <laughs> we thought we saw a Euro step. First body shot is experienced, of course, with that body work. Ooh, a left hook from Campbell. Campbell not biting at the feints. Short little one inch punch by Lou Campbell. I want to see these short little punches, but right here, check hook. Ryan doesn't speak much Spanish. Eddie Reynoso. So Garcia 4 0 with four knockouts and a total of not. How your fighter's going to fare when he gets taken into deeper waters. Secure those early knockouts, but you don't know how. Garcia told us that his style, he believed. Especially a young fighter says that he prefers fighting southpaws for the good guard punches against southpaws. It's just how well can he deal with them? Or oh, Flatfoot, seems like he wants to... Oh, left hand sends the kick! Now we're going to see what this kid's made of. An absolute stun. Ryan Garcia's planted there, not moving away from those shots. What must be going through Ryan Garcia's mind? He's left. I think you got to stay calm. Stop, stop, stop. Now it's Garcia who needs to be cool. Celebrating right flash about that a that clean left hand Ash got caught by a flash knockdown, but there was nothing right on the button at first glance I By Garcia getting up and fighting them off One punch knockout Luke Campbell. He's too tough He's been hit. What happens when those first round knockouts come? They start getting good to you and think that you're going to... This is when he can attack when he's on the ropes, and that's what he does. Killer instinct. I love what Garcia's doing, backing up Campbell. This crowd's still buzzing. This is not what they expect. Fighters, and he passed the test, and he's still getting aggressive. For, for the Mexican-American. So far, I love the way Ryan Garcia... Who says he could throw his left hook a million times and never... Now Garcia... This is when he can tee off, and that's what he does. And now he won this third round with the aggression coming from now. Hope you're enjoying this, our main event, Ryan Garcia, who was dropped. You know, one of the questions, you know, said he felt a mild cold for five or six days. He's back at This fight is supposed to take place at the beginning of December. He reset and rejuvenated. Good body shot right there. Times once that sickness passed, I would feel stronger. Like the Campbell's best weapon is his body punch. Oh, right hand, and that affected Luca. And now he's starting to sit down on punches again, which is another weapon against a left hander. A lot more than right. Because he's been here before. He experienced this for the first time. Ooh. Down pretty well. Yeah, he did extremely well. Got up, survived the round, came back. A move right there by Campbell. Pivoting away, not getting away too far. Acted. That big punch. It wasn't a flash knockdown. He got rocked. I think they're both looking confident. Ryan Garcia just weak. Oh, and he got nice and short. That's going to catch the faster fighter. That's timing, Chris. Here for Ryan Garcia. As for Luke Campbell. Oh, and, 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 and that's the reason because he has so, so fast hands. His hands are so two things that you touched on. He's never been much on head movement, never been much on shots. And just as I say that, entanglement is the battle of the front foot when it's the southpaw and over. With Garcia's numbers under anyone else, 45%. A big, heavy flurry in a while. A good, good punch. Oh, and there's.
a nice little that power, that speed. Perhaps gotten a little complacent after that knockdown. So this is a good round. Oh, he's good round. Over the left hook, right at How will Luke Campbell react? The tempo, and that's that instinctive left hook that Ryan Garcia. Right. Oh, a little bit weakened here. He's letting his hands go. The crap. Oh, basically, Cole could survive if this point starting the round. Knock out when they have their opponents hurt. And in to put their hands up, telling Ryan Garcia to relax. Don't get too. Garcia looking for that. Instinctive admitting to those jabs. Good drop. And there it is. Canelo. Been the type of fight many people expected it to be, but it has. This is pretty boys, these Sugar Ray Lanterns, these Oscar De La Hoyas. We want to himself and go back on the attack. I think he's doing it. He's fighting. There's that check hook right there. Yeah, there's a second time this. That left hook. I was, I was, it reminds me of a rat trap. Hello, Alvarez. Luke Campbell knocks Ryan Garcia down. Look, I think Garcia's been in control and won. Every Resilience, Chris, comes from, from instinct. Nice right hand right there. And they're brilliantly after being horribly hurt at the end of that round. But I do really think that Luke Campbell needs to start. I see uh, Ryan Garcia winning rounds except for that. Reynoso saying to Ryan Garcia, you're young. Body shot. And he goes down. What's the answer? He is all substance. King Ray Garcia! And the new WBC 44% clip for Ryan Garcia. All right, got our final punch statistics. Now we celebrate New Year's with a